Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special treat. I have the Montaigne Deep Cold Down Review uh, Jacket to review. And it actually should be called Deep Space because it's really, really warm. Now, before I get into the review, I want to explain to you guys what this jacket, the magic of this jacket is. I, and I just learned this myself all the day. Now, there's three types of down um, jackets. There's the um, most commonly the stitch through method where the down is inside these little um, stitch through pockets of uh, baffles and you have the traditional box baffles where the down is inside um, separate chambers of um, baffles that are not stitched through so it's a wall in between each baffle the stitch through method is just um, a long wall long baffle with stitches in the middle and you have a much rarer double V or double um, chamber baffle where it's sort of a stitch through V formation but it's just like the box um, style baffle but with a V formation now most jackets have to stitch through um, most cheap cheaper like a Patagonia high loft down or Patagonia down sweaters they'll have this um, stitch through because it makes the jacket lighter cheaper to make um, and it's easy to wear and pack the jacket or stuff the jacket into a sack the traditional box wall baffle jackets were used for mountaineering and they're really expensive and really um, expensive to make and really uh, unpackable and stuffable and heavy, much heavier. Now with the lighter materials like Pertex Endurance that this jacket uses and um, Peak Down Liner that this jacket uses, it makes the jacket just as light as if it had the stitch through method. Now I'm gonna go into it. Jacket is um, cut longer for the size. And I'm five foot eight inches tall and I usually wear 155 pounds, 56 pounds. After the holidays, I'll be 160 pounds. And I usually wear a size of medium jackets or a 38 regular suit, um, men's suit size. So I'm a medium, but I had a size down to small to get this fit. And to get this fit, I mean the, the jacket is advertised as being cut wide in the torso and longer in the sleeves um, for layering. But because the jacket is really, really warm, you don't really need to layer much under it. Like as you see, all I have is a t-shirt, a t-shirt and uh, my, my track top. And it's really cold today, it's 20 degrees, it's gonna snow. Later on today, we're expecting a, a bit of snow, so I figured I'll just uh, start wearing this, it's really cold. Now inside the jacket, you have this neon green lining and you have that peak um, down liner inside that's, that makes it really warm next to your skin. Uh, one gripe is the internal mesh pockets are really small. You can't fit more than a 16 ounce um, Poland spring bottle in there. And the other mesh pocket is just a zippered pocket for wallet and keys. And normally on a jacket like this, you have like really massive internal pockets for water bottles and mittens and stuff like that to keep them warm against your skin, against your body. But here you don't have that. But what Montaigne does do well is the exterior pockets. I'm gonna go into that. So you have the two way belaying zip I'm not sure if you guys can see that so it zips up like that and you have the belay zip down there which is really cool you have a lot of velcro on this jacket along the storm flap there's velcro all down it and you have a double baffle so you have internal baffle here storm flap and an out external storm flap on opposite sides of the zipper so what this does it prevents um prevents cold spots from getting in the middle because you have down all around the jacket but the weakest point of a down jacket is where the zipper runs because it's just a thin layer of fabric along the zipper so you want to protect that doubly and this does that very well and the velcro keeps keeps this keeps that secure now you have in terms of the pockets you have these secret hand warmer pockets down here and they're on the inside of the down there's down on both sides of these pockets all the pockets in this jacket so you have down on the inside and down on the outside. So your hands are really warm in these pockets. You have another Velcro garage pocket down here. And the Velcro, one of my gripes is, is really loud and has that tear in Velcro sound. And if you're not used to Velcro, it's gonna take a while to get used to. So you have these garage pockets down here, which is cool. You have your hand warmer pockets up here. Now the bellow pockets are, I call them the garage pockets. You could either wear the flaps inside if you don't want to deal with the Velcro um, tearing every time. Or you could just Velcro it up like that. And it doesn't look big or anything like that. It looks very well um, in line with the jacket. You also have two Napoleon pockets up here. And these are down, down line as well. 
but they're only down lined on the outside but inside is it's just your skin or whatever you're wearing so to prevent these from being kept open what Montaigne has done was put more velcro on them so when a pocket like this is open cold air could get in and um, create a cold spot against your um, your skin so Montaigne has created um, put velcro there so if you forget to zip the pockets back up they'll close automatically with the velcro so these are also hand warmer pockets because they're all inside the down and they're not that big this is mainly mainly for keys or or lip balm or something like a phone or something on the go and that zips up and so you have the six external pockets which is really really warm and the beauty of this jacket normally like a box wall expedition down hoodie jacket like this it's a big lofty marshmallow shapeless potato kind of I call it potato shape but this one is tailored so it hugs your body the sleeves are articulated so you can move your arms around you have a nice range of motion as well I'm sure you got the back of the jacket so the jacket is tapered against your torso so it doesn't puff out like that so the box wall one of the beauties of the box wall baffle it doesn't give you that Michelin tire or the um, Stay Puff marshmallow guy it doesn't give you that that tire kind of shape like you're wearing a bunch of tires it it's a streamlined cut even though it's a bigger jacket it doesn't look puffy like a regular puffy down jacket because it's all like a straight baffle so with this you get that really well tailoring and what Montaigne has done it's really cold so I really don't want to zip this jacket down a lot you have these internal cinch toggles in the back which is really really cool so you could cinch this jacket in the midsection and this sort of replaces a traditional powder skirt or snow skirt so it hugs the jacket against your waist even though it's a longer cut jacket so when the jacket is zipped up you can't get any elements inside the jacket from underneath because normally what will happen the wind blows up and it comes right up the jacket and you get that cold spot in the torso now it doesn't do that because it has this internal cinch but the internal cinch is just a simple tube with a bungee cord and a cinch toggle and that's it there's no snow skirt or anything like that or anything extreme that goes end to end it's only in the back of the jacket and it's really really well done it makes it lighter jacket and it makes an effective um, sort of um, replacement for a snow skirt or powder skirt down below you also have your dual cinch toggles in this side for the torso and you have a drop drop tail hem in the back so the hem it goes all the way down to mid thigh down here so which is really cool and if you don't want it to be really long you could cinch it up to make a shorter jacket um, to make make it wear shorter and as you can see when a jacket's unzipped it's not like it doesn't look like it's um uncomfortable to wear it's it's state it keeps its shape so it keeps a rigid shape and another thing Montaigne has done is use different textures of Pertex Endurance throughout the jacket so you have um beefier thicker um, textures up here on the arms shoulders and the, the butt area right here but you have a softer kind of fabric on the front and in the inside of the arms there so you also have um, D-ring clips to hold mittens and gloves off of which is kind of cool right there and velcro cinching cuffs which is really cool and sort of necessary because the sleeves are really long for the, for the um, size and I've sized down to a small and the sleeves still come over my fingertips as you see there which is cool now the best part of this jacket is the hood the hood unzips and it zips in with this um, sealing zipper there so you can wear the jacket with the hood unzipped or zipped up and what Montaigne has done with the hood normally a hood has the internal fabric on the inside of the hood but Montaigne realized your hair could get wet or your hat could get wet or if it's snowing and the jacket's worn like with the hood down kind of and water gets in there and it, it could get the down wet so they've made a waterproof interior um, lining for the hood which is the same as the outside of the hood so it's all one material on the hood which is really really smart because most jackets just have that soft internal lining on the inside of the hood and that's not waterproof and that's not weatherproof so when that gets damp the uh, the down liner gets damp sorry it's really cold out here guys <laughs> so you also have these uh, sleeping bag baffles up there which is really good and I'm gonna put the hood on and the hood tucks away it has these snaps that tuck tuck it away when not worn and another gripe about the hood what the only gripe is too much velcro they have velcro all down here so you get that tear in some but what the velcro does the positives of having velcro there is if it's really cold and it's it's coming 